on the behalf of the co-authors, I'd like to thank gastrointestinal endoscopy for accepting our paper titled Colonic Endoscopic Submucosal Dissection Using Novo Robotic System. I am Professor Philip Chu from the Department of Surgery and Endoscopy at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and together with Professor Lawrence Ho from National University of Singapore and Professor Louis Tree from Nanyang Technological University. One of the difficulties in performing endoscopic submucosal dissection is the lack of retraction during submucosal dissection. The development of the Endomaster EC system aimed to enhance safety and efficacy of ESD through two flexible robotic arms for tissue retraction and dissection. Previously, we have reported our clinical study on the prototype master robotic system for performance of gastric ESD. This is a preclinical animal study to evaluate performance of colorectal ESD using the latest version of the Endomaster system. The latest version of this system consisted of an independently designed flexible endoscopic platform with built-in imaging system and three working channels, two for passage of the robotic arms and one for the accessories. This, in this animal study, the outcome measures include operative time, completeness of the resection, procedure-related adverse events, as well as limitation of arm manipulation in the narrow working space, as assessed by counting the frequency of blind cutting. A total of five colorectal ESD procedures were performed using the Endomaster EC system in policy model under general anesthesia. The target lesions were located either in rectum or sigmoid colon, ranging from 5 cm to 36 cm from the anal verge. We were able to conduct ESD only in rectum and sigmoid, as there was presence of acute angulation in the colon beyond 36 cm, precluding passage of the endoscope in all of the porcine models. All the steps of the colorectal ESD were performed completely using the Endomaster EC system without the need of assistance using ordinary ESD devices. The mean operative time was 73.8 minutes, and the mean size of the specimen resected was 1,340 millimeters square. There was no perforation encountered, although profuse bleeding was encountered during one of the Endomaster ESD procedures. The breeding was stopped using electrocautery and coagulasma without the need of conversion. There was no blind cutting episode during the dissection using the two robotic arm. All the resected specimens demonstrate complete on block resection. Moreover, we explored the efficacy of managing perforation during the robotic ESD in one of the animal models. First, a perforation was induced by incising on the defect until full thickness after ESD. The perforation was first controlled using the robotic grasper to minimize gas leakage. Endocrypts was then passed through the accessory channel to definitively close the perforation. In summary, the current preclinical study confirmed the feasibility of performing colorectal ESD using the latest version of the Endomaster system. The system also tested for the ability to tackle with adverse events, including bleeding and perforation. This important information provides a basis for future clinical trial using the Endomaster EC system for colorectal ESD. Thank you very much for your kind attention.